There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know you're a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles you do except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This is a terrible statement. So Nicodemus, he had questions. He said, how can a man be born when he's old? Must he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered and said unto him, Truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. So he taught the necessity of a new birth, of a spiritual birth. The Bible says, He that has the Son has life. He that has not the Son of God shall not see life. So it spoke of a very real faith wherein Jesus Christ comes to live within you, making you new, making you whole. The Bible teaches that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All things are of God. That this new birth, this spiritual birth, wherein Jesus Christ comes to live within you. The Bible says, examine yourselves, whether you are in the faith. Do you not know this of your own selves, that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobate. So the Bible describes those who do not have Christ living in them as reprobate, cut off concerning the faith. We're in such desperate need of this salvation, such desperate need of Jesus Christ. Unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This was the purpose of the cross of Christ, that man might be made whole. The Bible says that we're born dead in trespasses and sins. It said in the book of Psalms that the Lord yeah. looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did good you, and that did understand. And he said there was none. In fact, Jesus says they hated me without a cause. That man naturally hates Jesus Christ, hates the Word of God. It's because what the Word of God says about man is true, that they are evil. The Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked and deceitful above all things. This is the purpose that man hates Christ, but can bear to listen to all things. They hate the Word of God, the words of eternal life breathe from the mouth of God. Jesus said before his crucifixion, as he sat and did eat with his disciples, he took bread and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to them and he said, take, eat, this is my body broken for you. And he took the cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and he said, drink ye, all of it. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for many for the remission of sins. So the condemnation that rests upon man apart from Christ is taken away in this sacrifice. It's taken away at the cross. The Bible says that he took the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. That was the law of God. God has given a law and by this law we ought to die. The law requires a perfect obedience which man lacks. The Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So all have sinned. The Bible describes sin as being transgression of the law. The breaking of God's law. That's what sin is. Because God has said, thou shalt not. Therefore man derives his lust for self. Man lives after self, lives after the flesh. The greatest commandment in the law, they asked Jesus. His response was, you shall love the Lord your God with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So the greatest commandment in all the law is to love the Lord your God with all your strength, 
all your mind, all your soul. I'm sorry, like what were you saying? I didn't hear you. I said the greatest commandment in the law is to love the Lord your God with all your strength, all your soul, all your mind. And thus we live our lives for self, we live our lives after the flesh, we live our lives with no thought of Jesus Christ. And so, we are thus condemned as lawbreakers. And not only this, all man does in a natural state is sin. It's only the mere mercy of God that holds back his fierce anger and wrath. The Bible says that the Lord is angry at the wicked every day. He says, if he turns not, he will wet his sword. This wrath, this anger is satisfied only in Jesus Christ. The Bible says it pleased the Lord to crush his son. It pleased the Lord the death of his son. It is only in Jesus Christ that this anger can be satisfied, this justice and judgment that is required for the perfect holiness demanded of the law. Jesus said, do not think I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of the law required. And it is only through Jesus Christ and Him crucified that man can find mercy. 